I'm Bart Denny from Spatial First, and today I'm going to show you how you can get more out of a Matterport scan, one of the key ways that you can make these virtual tours. And I'm going to show you how you can take an OBJ file that comes in Matterport's Matter Pack, which you can then download and create into a much more immersive and viral augmented reality experience that you're able to embed on a website or just send somebody a text message. No need for any app install. First thing to note is I'm gonna be showing you how to do this entirely on this iPad. So a tool that most of you may have around and um, taking an iPad Pro with the LiDAR scanner to its real paces to put together this, this tutorial on how to do that. So without, Further ado, once again, an AR quick look scene is something that can be embedded on a website and then you just click it once if you're on your iPhone or iPad and that image is going to launch into a full 3D AR experience. You will be asked to find a plane and with ours, you usually will be looking for the floor but sometimes you can scan a table to place an object on a table. All of this allows you to create an experience that's just uh, above and beyond what you find in a traditional desktop virtual tour. So what are we gonna need for this demo? Well, as I've already said, um, you definitely are gonna need an iOS device of more recent vintage that supports AR features. And you're also going to need a 3D model. So the 3D model types that are supported in this Apple format that we're gonna be looking at are OBJ, FBX, and GLTF. Basically, uh, if you are familiar with 3D content, you'll know what that is uh, and you may have access to it. If you're not and wanna play along at home, try sketchfab.com where you can download hundreds of models and skip the first steps of this tutorial. Thousands, I should say, thousands. So, uh, as I said, we'll be using Sketchfab as our model conversion tool, which will be converting a model from these common formats into Apple's new USDZ formats. The Apple has released a whole series of tools, so, uh, including a great, super easy drag and drop free tool that's part of Xcode. So that free tool is called Reality Converter, and it's available as part of the latest version of Xcode. There, uh, I'm using Sketchfab to do this, which does require a $10 a month account to uh, enable the downloads of models that you have uploaded to them. Let's get going. And here I'm gonna show you how we are going to be preparing the Matterpack file that you download from Matterport into a document that we can then upload to Sketchfab. So what we have to do first is delete a few of the files that come in the Matterpack. Uh, these are not part of the actual 3D model itself that we are going to be doing, and all of the remaining files which share this starting long indecipherable name, um, those are what we're gonna need to now compress. So you alternate click on that folder and compress the entire package in there, which includes the OBJ files, a .mtl file, and a whole bunch of textures that are JPEGs. Now what you're gonna do, big orange button on Sketchfab, upload. Simply on your iPad, you're able to literally drag and drop. Um, really cool, I've never really experimented with a mouse, but now that that's working, it's fantastic. So it's gonna process for a while. And the key thing you're doing in this uh, pro account that you'll have is making sure that the model is uh, download enabled and you can set that at free. You can change that later and you can even choose to sell that model on their store. Now we have 
processed and we are going to download the model using the USDZ format. That's going to load once it's downloaded entirely, it loads in Safari. You can immediately get into your AR scene, but you can also save that file onto your iPad. So you're going to save a file so you can have quick access to it, so you can share it, do whatever you want with it. The viewar.com has a free tool that will convert from GLTF and a few other common formats. The open source free tool Blender does this um, for every single platform out there. So now we've converted that file. Now, as I said, super easy to simply share this, right? Send it to somebody in email. They've got an iPhone, they open it on their iPhone, and boom, they had no idea they were about to go into augmented reality, into a different environment, but there they are. Then you take your Zoom game to the next level. You put yourself into augmented reality by simply turning the camera around and facing yourself and um, launching into a Zoom. So here I show how you can just swipe down on your iPhone, call up Control Center, choose the screen recording option, and start a broadcast onto any of the video conferencing apps that are supported. So you're able to literally use this matter pack as a way to green screen yourself into anywhere. It's pretty cool. I've got some videos um, on our blog that can give you um, more information about uh, sort of that, that aspect of things. Anyway, um, some other quick tips and tricks. Um, each scene that you can find will be custom made for a specific type of AR experience. Typically all of these property oriented scenes, what you're doing is you're trying to either align it onto a tabletop experience or a floor experience. Um, a floor experience is one where you're going to be able to walk around and be inside of it. And that tabletop experience is more looking at it in that dollhouse fashion with your device. Very, very important that you make sure when that model comes in that it's properly set so that the ground floor is, is set at the ground. So this is something that um, can be an issue, but if you've got a matter, port, uh, matter pack, they typically are really um, good at handling single levels. Now, you'll have an issue if you've got a multiple level house, even if it's just a couple of stairs, because as you go down the stairs, your AR experience doesn't sort of recalibrate to, and, and you're now gonna be walking around with the floor in your, in your stomach. Finally, this is still pushing the boundaries of your phone's capabilities and as um, the sizes of the space and the sizes of the digital model increase, so does the bad experience that you'll get on the phone. There are a lot of tips and tricks that you can do as a do-it-yourselfer. Um, if you've got a matter pack, a good rule of thumb is, is like 30 to 40 megabytes. You might be okay on all older devices that support ARKit. But, um, you know, certainly any, any two, three thousand square foot kind of single family house with a lot of, of different rooms and stuff, those tend to start um, being very difficult to really use. If you do want to kind of go, get in and, and customize the experience more, then absolutely the thing to do is download Apple's free Reality Composer app. It's available both for iOS and Mac. Um, absolutely free tool. And with this, you're able to take these basic models, add some additional stock stuff, and hook up a whole lot more interactivity. So um, once you're done with producing something in Reality Composer, you're able to export that out but it is a kind of Apple proprietary format that basically extends those USDZ formats with additional scenes and interactivity components. So for instance, you can have a, 
a trigger so that you tap something or you simply get approach closer to it and something will trigger. Um, and that can be audio. That's what we're here to do is make this very easy to deliver customers of yours. Simply add this much more immersive type of experience and do the very basics yourself. But if you need to create something and with no fuss and, and be ready to scale it and have a whole bunch of different options on what you can add on to a single thing. So we've got examples with balloon tours and virtual open houses, 3D test fits and virtual stagings and also a lot of interesting versions that support 360 photography. It's not quite as immersive, but um, it still can be a very powerful way to distribute these things. What we're offering right now are these more advanced scenes for $179 if you have a matter pack. And if you just want the most basic property scene, um, which, which would include one month of hosting, will convert your Matterport model, make it all you know, ready to go for that $79. Made it this far, now let's see what you can do. Please send any examples that you create to us at spatialfirst.com. So bart at spatialfirst.com. We're gonna put it up on our blog, The Best Examples. Happy to feature these things and hear any feedback. Thanks so much.